multi-part Keith's couch in regards to the delivery of my third daughter, Madison Duchess LaRue Wolford. Uh, this is me and my wife's second. Shout out to Latea and Olivia. Um, we're here at the hospital. Uh, my wife is all uh, loopy and doped up on the pain meds. I'm trying to see if they'll uh, let me get a hit of that stuff. They might, uh, Get a couple sips of her uh, IV. She won't let me post the other video I uh, recorded of her all gooped up out of her mind, but uh, she's over here. Let me see if I can sneak a shot of her looking all serene and just going through it. Let's give a quick little. You want to say something for all the Keith Couch viewers? And that's the baby, all oh, articulated ever. So what do you have to say to all the couch potatoes out there? Mm -hmm. so what do you have to say? She is usually pretty shy, which is why she is yet to make an appearance on the couch. Of course, she's been pregnant for most of the run of the show, so she doesn't feel like her most photogenic. But she is lovely as ever. But that's how you know you're in love with somebody when you see them go through all of the... Uh, the beauty of the delivery process, all the awesome fluids that are produced. I think delivery is the one time a human body produces every possible fluid and secretion it possibly can. It's pretty gross, fellas. If you guys have never been there, uh, see it happening. It's, it's eye opener. You, know, you think of that beautiful little flower you first met and fell in love with, and you know, ladies are always so you know gorgeous when you meet them, and then you see them going through it and it's just like, oh, this is what I signed on for. You didn't know you're going to get to see all of their body functions and uh, I'm sure she loves me talking about that to the world, but it's just it's an amazing experience. I'm nervous, anxious, even though I've been here before. You never get used to the anxiety, the excitement, the nervousness and fear of just, you know, wanting a healthy baby. Um, Still, fingers crossed that uh, they might have made a mistake and this might be my boy, but uh, it's probably gonna be my third girl, which is karma for all of the nonsense in my life. Uh, being a bit of a womanizer, so now I have to bring three girls through this world and teach them. I guess who better to prepare uh, young women for how bad it can get out there with the guys than someone who, well, some of my viewers out there they know how much of a roof roof I've been, but I, at 31, I feel reformed. I just got this tattoo for my second daughter.